Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I have been doing a how I edit my Instagram pictures video. I did one maybe, was it two years ago? I'm not exactly sure, but my editing style and the apps that I used and my overall Instagram feel has been changing a lot. So um, I thought today I would go through how I do my Instagram posts for you guys. I am taking most of my selfies with an iPhone 7 Plus, um, but the thing is, a lot of the po pictures that I post on Instagram are actually taken by professional photographers here in Korea who either um, hired me for a job, so it's for you know a brand that I'm a model for, or it's just like photographers who just wanted to take pictures with me because um, I am a model here in Korea and sometimes photographers reach out to you, like to foreign models and like any model, <laughs> um, and just, you know, like ask if they want to shoot some like portfolio photos. So um, a lot of the pictures that I'm using in these examples and that that's in my Instagram are um, pictures that has been taken by professional photographers. That also means that usually they touch up my face and um, like the colors, but Sometimes I want something different, so I furthermore touch them up, so who knows, maybe it's really far from the original, but I mean, I, I want to be really clear with you guys in this video and not lie about editing, because I do edit my, my face and the colors, so um, without further ado and without any more rambling, let's just go ahead and start with the first example. I'm now in my favorites album and um, Let's just take the first example. What should we start with? Um, let's start with the face editing. So this picture was a screenshot from my um, newest makeup video. And the first app that I usually will open is Beauty Plus. So now I have Beauty Plus opened and my favorites album uh, opened as well. I will click on the picture and um, I'm not gonna lie guys, I do edit my face structure. And that is basically because I have a lot of, I have a complex, like, I have a jaw complex, I really don't like my jaw. Um, in this picture it's not too bad, but since I am tilting my head like this, my jaw looks bigger. Um, so I'm usually just taking the slim effect and just a little bit shaving the jaw. Um, like that, like not much, not so it looks like a different jaw, but just so... <laughs> I look skinny, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to lie, but yeah. Next, I'm going to my skin um, skin brightening feature. And I usually just brighten it a little bit. That's just to make the oval photo lighter. I only do this if it's a dark photo, like this one. This looks a bit dark, so my skin look darker. <laughs> then I will not use the red light and the reshape ones, but I always go to smooth, just to smoothen the photo a little bit. This feature doesn't not only fo uh, smooth out the skin, it smooths out the background as well, so be careful with this feature, it might look a little bit unnatural if you overdo it. I uh, don't usually touch my eyes, sometimes I do. It's not a big like difference as you can see. We'll go back and forth, so um, in this photo, yeah, maybe 35 as you can see here. The difference is pretty much like um, not visible. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what will I more do? I don't need, need any dark circle editing in this photo and brightening. No, don't need it. Um, the next thing, sometimes I use um, the filters in this app and... Whoa, okay, that's a bit crazy. And sometimes I don't. Like, look at this. It's a subtle change, but it still makes the photo looks a lot more nice. Um, for this one... Hmm, this looks nice, right? And then you can turn it up and down, that's maybe a bit too much. But I like the vintage feel that this photo already has, so let's apply that one. Then yeah, we're done, saved um, that photo. So I want to give you one more example of how I edit my face in these kinds of um, photos. Um, the next one I will probably choose is this one. This photo is not edited um, either right now. So I will first go into the slim mode and see do I need some slimming on the face? Maybe a little bit here. Um, 
actually I don't need much slimming in this photo so that that's fine <laughs> um, <laughs> um, let's go to the skin color since my face is already very bright I don't want to apply any skin um, brightening here smoothing my skin was pretty good at this point this was taken just after I moved to Korea where my skin was great now my skin is very bad um, so uh, I don't need much maybe a little bit like that <laughs> And my eyes look big enough, my nose maybe looks a bit funny because of the lighting, so I'm gonna um, make it a little bit smaller. Like here you can see the difference, it's not much so far. Um, <laughs> brightening, no, don't really need it. I really like the way you can see my dark circles here because it looks like um, just like a childish, so I like that effect. Now yeah that's it for this picture i uh, want to show you guys another editing app that i like most often use for filters so i'm gonna save this photo and bring it into foodie app so here are all of the filters that i usually use for my instagram photos i really love the filters in this app it just makes everything look so professionally edited so i just usually scroll through them until i found one that's like really pretty I really love this one a lot because it makes the colors look so like pure and innocent but for this photo maybe I'm gonna just keep going and see what looks good with it mm. oh it really looks nice in black and white too mm. this picnic filter I use a lot as well it's really pretty but this photo is so bright that I should probably use so pretty that looks my that makes my eyes look really nice I feel like if you have um, colored eyes um, these filters are amazing okay, I really love these. as you can see when I press on the screen it shows the difference um, one another filter that I really like here is called barbecue this one I really love that one but for this one I'm gonna go with the tropical so the next thing that I really want to show you guys how I do is um, how to make the background of the photo move I really love the moving photo effect I posted it twice before um, if I can find it I will put them here um, I just think that effect looks so cool and like artsy and it's so easy to do so I will show you guys how I do that now the app is called Pixel Loop, and um, I'm not really good at using this app yet, so <laughs> I apologize if I'm like foaming around too much. And I already prepared this photo. So this photo is one of the photos that were taken by the pro professional photographers. And as you can see on my face, they already edited my jaw quite a lot. Actually, they shaved off a lot of my jaw. Um, so yeah. I didn't edit that guys and I'm not really sure if the sky actually looked like that at that point it maybe can it maybe looks like they actually edited the, the sky in but we're gonna change the sky again so go to the sky effect here then you can choose whatever kind of filter you want and look at this how it just like it like detects where the sky is and make it look really really cool oops press something like it looks so freaking good right it's so crazy how you can do that so you just choose whatever sky you want for the picture I think I want something hmm I actually like this one so let's play see how it moves like that that is amazing so I like how that looks let's go save it and duration i'm probably just gonna put it into like 16 seconds export now it's exporting the video and um it's ready to post on instagram or wherever you want to post it like your story let me go ahead and try it with another one because i found another picture that will look good with it so um you have to choose pictures where there's actually like a sky visible in the back at least in order to do the sky thing you can also do the loop and like i did one where the hair moved a little bit downwards like water you can do that as well but i like the sky ones a really a lot oh my god that looks so freaking good <laughs> that's so awesome mm. this looks really natural for this picture so i'm gonna choose that one 
and duration 16 seconds export now we have another instagram post ready so now the only thing left to do is just to go into your instagram profile and post the picture as you can see on my instagram i don't have a theme and that is basically because i don't want to um how can i say I don't want to be limited in what I post. If I had a theme, I would always feel pressured to post something in that theme. And of course, having a theme is a good way to build your social media following. But if you just want to post like awesome photos, just don't stick to a theme. I wouldn't do that if I were you, because um, a lot of people don't really want to see your profile in one view. They want to see their, your individual posts and so, just whatever looks good for the picture you're editing, edit it like that. You don't need to have a certain style for, for, for your Instagram. So one last thing that I want to show you guys is how I am taking my selfies for my stories. Because oftentimes my stories, the videos, looks very edited as well. And you guys always ask me what like camera I use because my skin always looks flawless and my skin is definitely not flawless when you come up close like even now it might look good as well on the camera that's because this camera has a wonderful portrait effect <laughs> but my you can do that on your phone as well while taking videos and photos just for your story just go to the snow app it's actually a korean app oh hi guys um and there you can see my 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 face looks really really um flawless and there's also filters so just swipe right this looks really nice with this um with <laughs> inception <laughs> with this uh kind of uh, outfit uh the thing about this app is if you um make a video and you talk it's delayed like the picture and the sound is delayed i don't know how to fix that but so yeah this is how i do these stories so. So that's pretty much everything that I have to tell you about how to edit your pictures and videos for Instagram. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It means a lot to me because it shows that you like the video. And um, leave all of your editing tips down below in the comments. I would love to read it and I'm sure everybody else would love to read your tips as well. So um, don't forget to follow my Instagram now that we're here. And I think that was enough shout out to myself. So thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.